Uh, well, when we walked into his office earlier today, Ron Gardenhire looked at all the media and said, what could we possibly have to talk about now? We ended up chatting then for 15 minutes on a variety of topics. After tonight's game, of course, there will be no shortage of things to discuss. Ron Gardenhire doing that now in his post-game press conference brought to you by Lana Kugels. Your emotions after a game like that one, Gertie? Well, I mean, you know, it was up and down. They took the lead again at the end, and then we come up with, you know, the big hit. And, uh, you know, a grand slam by Hicksie. But there was a lot of stuff in between that, you know, it's kind of really hard to remember what all happened. We had a 2 to nothing lead for a long time. The kid Garcia came in, and I'm really impressed. He's throwing the living crap out of the ball. He's got a great arm, and we talked about, you know, this kid's got a chance to be in our future next year, and, and uh, we're going to take looks at him. And uh, you know what? He just got one up, uh, but we really like that arm. He's got a great changeup, a great slider, good fastball. So um, that was a big blow uh, to give up the, the big 2 on your homer. But um, you know what? Our pen was resilient. They came in and held, held, held and gave up one here and there, but then our hitters kept bouncing back. Reyes hitting a big home run, so so many things to think about there. Uh, uh, but a lot of good at-bats there in the last inning. Why do you think the the uh, the piggybacking is working so well with Norris and Verhagen? I mean, wh what's making it so effective? Well, those two pitchers, really, uh, Norris is, he knows what he's going to do. It's not like he's trying to you know, save pitches so he can go deeper in the game. He's got three innings, and he's attacking. He's really attacking and going right at him. I looked up at one point, and I think he had like 16 pitches, and he's already through two innings or 18 pitches. And I'm going, we're going to take a guy out with like 25 pitches. And that it doesn't feel right, but that's what we have to do to get him through the end of the season. He wants to pitch the rest of the season, so that's what we have to do. And then Verhagen comes in, and he's been, you know, fantastic himself. Spinning the ball, good fastball. Um, got himself in a little trouble a couple of times, but he got out of it. So, um, you know, a, a real nice win. A lot of fans sticking around there. It was cool. I probably want to go see the Lions game now. Just go right to it. <laughs> this is kind of a moot point now, but but when uh, when Rick came out to talk to Garcia, Man Mancini coming up, you had Santander on deck, base open. Did you guys oh, give him a exactly choice? That's what he talked about. You don't, you don't have to attack this guy. Just make good pitches. There is a base open, you know, and that's exactly what was talked about out there. Just putting him on and putting all the pressure on the kid is, you know, let's see what he can do. See if he can pitch around the guy and make good pitches and make him chase. He just hung one. This, whatever it was, a slider or whatever. But, yeah, that was exactly talked about out there. Has Victor been a completely different guy than who you saw last year? And what, what impresses you the most about him? I mean, if... He's comfortable now. He feels he belongs. He went to AAA and got a ton of at-bats, which we said that had to happen for him because he didn't give him any last year. Uh, and he's made the most of it. He got stronger during the off season, And, uh, uh, you know what, he's... He's, he's comfortable. He feels he belongs in the big leagues, and he's playing like it. Wherever you put him in the outfield, he's all over the place, and, and he's putting some nice swings. That was, we've seen him do that in BP a lot. That ball dropped ahead on it like that, and that was really cool to see. Played that defense pretty well, too. Diving, catching through that guy at second base. The leadoff yeah, hitter was huge. Big I mean, there was a lot of big things happening. You have to really sit back and probably watch the whole game film uh, just to figure it all out because it was such a long game. But it was cool. All the fans stayed there, and, you know, they went up and down with us. And, and But, uh, like I said, a big win for us. Where did we go? Sword knee. His knee was sore, so got him out. Uh, he told me after what his second at bat or whatever, whenever we took him out, he said, told the trainers that his knee was sore. Uh, it was sore yesterday, and he tried to play through it today, but it's a little sore. So we'll just go day to day, see how he is in the morning. Hey, Ryan, you talk about the fans all the time and playing well here at Comerica Park, but how good do you feel for those fans? You mentioned they stuck around and they get to see something like that. I mean, on a day like today, through a season like this, is that's got to be kind of special. There was a lot of big moments out there, and kind of. Felt like when you're at a hockey game, they're standing up and pounding away, and uh, it was kind of cool. They were really into it, and, you know, we'd get a walk, and they would get into it. So, you know, that's fun. Hopefully we can do that a little bit more as we go along here uh, and finish our homestand um, and, uh, you know, entertain them a little bit more. It's it's fun when we do that. The players get into it, too. He's going to be off tomorrow anyway, right? Day, day yeah, game. good chance. So that gives him another chance to, you know, kind of recoup. Considering the last couple of weeks for Higgs, bailing that illness and now trying to work his way back, how big is this for him to be able to? Yeah, we talked about getting him at bats, and the way to do it today was put him at first base. And because we've got three catchers now, you know, and we're able to you know pinch hit for one of them, so we still had another one there, and we still got Hicksy on the field. But he needs at bats. If the only way he's going to you know get back in the swing of it is getting at bats like that, so he got plenty of them tonight. Um, and you know, the last one was the biggest. Good day. So one last one. You get the leadoff hitter on in the 10th, 11th, and then the 12th. So in the 10th, you decide to 
uh, swing away and not want yeah, then put the bun on with Lugo. I, I wanted him to drive the ball. Um, you know, he's so good at driving the ball the other way. The guy's throwing hard. He thought the bunt sign was on the first pitch and he fake bunted and then there was no bunt sign. I want him to hit and he just kind of reached out and tapped one to second, which was, you know, that was that's where he's got to learn. We want him to drive the ball. He's going to be a run producer. He's going to play third base in the big leagues and be a run producer. So that's the situation. We want him to drive the ball.